There is to be a press conference. My sources are saying that he's going to reiterate that he's staying into the ra- that he's staying in the race. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get some of your calls in, but I really want to say this. This is a decision that he needs to make himself. I and many others have prayed that he will make the right decision. I'll support him if he stands down. I also think that elections have consequences. And I also think that there were two parties to blame here. The Republican establishment for freaking out. And even other people who aren't Republican establishment. Michelle Malkin is not Republican establishment. Sarah Palin is not Republican establishment. We are allowed to have differences of opinions, you guys, without resorting to progressive pejoratives. Are we not conservatives? If you don't think that, if you think we're supposed to be lockstep, that's progressivism. That is not us. The founding fathers were not in lockstep. They fought, literally. But here's the thing. This is about beating Claire McCaskill. Do you need any reason to not want to get her out of the Senate? Do you need any other reason to vote against her beyond the fact that she passed Obamacare, which does nothing to reform health control, seizes your sovereignty as an individual over your body, gives you subpar care, all at the hands of an unelected board in HHS? Or what about voting for the MACT rule and shutting doors of coal plants across the state? Hmm? What about the persecution of small businesses? Folks, we don't need someone else to make the reason as to why we should not vote against Claire McCaskill. We don't need someone to make the case for us that we need to vote against Claire McCaskill. We know her record. We know where she stands. This race is not about Todd Aiken. This race is about Claire McCaskill. This race is about Obamacare. This race is about the future of the country. And that is getting lost in this. I don't care where you stand on this issue. It's about one thing and one thing only. Missouri, we have been through a lot in the past several years. This race is about no one else but Claire McCaskill. This is a judgment of her record. This is a referendum on where she stands. Do not fall for the bait. We have come too far in these past several years to be deterred now. I don't care what decision comes down if you have to be goaded into voting against one of the greatest offenses to the liberty of this country, then you are not one of us. Period. That's what is getting lost in this mess. There are two paths at CPAC. My dear friend and mentor stated this. There are two paths. One is Occupy. One is America. Which one will you, Missouri, take? This is about no one else but Claire McCaskill. Where do you stand? Period. I don't care where you are. I don't care what you believe. You either want the Senate or you don't. And if you want that Senate bad enough, there is not a damn thing that is going to stand in your way. If you want it bad enough, there is no amount of insanity or misspeech or anything else that is going to deter you from getting that Senate. So when this press conference happens at 4.15 and when the decision comes down this evening, you remember that.